Hello everybody, my name is Chef Cap and welcome to another cooking demonstration video here on my channel. Now, are you tired of the same boring old chicken? Well, today I'll be doing an orange rosemary chicken. So without further ado, let's get cooking. So right here on this plate, I have some chicken tenders right here. You can use chicken breasts if you want to, but I'm using chicken tenders today just because they will cook up a lot faster in this recipe. Now, first we're gonna coat the chicken breast in some seasoned flour. I'll put some salt and black pepper in here for some seasoning. So let us begin with the dredging process. So, take a chicken breast, turn the flour, just lightly coat it, turn it around, make sure it gets a nice, even coating like so. Let's continue on with the rest. Shake off the excess. And here they are, all nicely coated. Now we're going to cook these in a big cast iron skillet. So here I got my big cast iron skillet here. Got a couple tablespoons of oil in here. I've got it on medium heat. I'm just waiting for it to heat up till it's nice and hot. Then we're going to add the chicken. Okay, now we're ready to add the chicken. Just be careful, this is very hot. Add it in one at a time. Do not overcrowd the pan, otherwise the chicken will not get a good sear on it. Ooh, it's hot. We're gonna cook these. Uh, Three minutes on each side so each side is golden brown. Okay, now let's put the chicken. Oh yeah, nice light golden brown, just the way we want it. Just again, be careful, this is super hot, everyone. Alright, so I'd say about two to three more minutes and we'll take the chicken out. Okay, now we're going to take the chicken out and we're going to do the other batch of chicken. I just do the rest of the chicken just like I demonstrated there and then we're going to deglaze the pan with some orange juice and other seasonings and then add the chicken back in. Alright guys we got all the chicken all seared off it's all nice slightly golden brown now next thing we need to deglaze the pan now in the pan you see all those little burnt bits on the bottom of the pan well that is flavor so we need to deglaze the pan otherwise add a flavorful liquid and some seasonings in order to bring some of that flavor up to make the sauce Okay, so I have the fire, the flame off now in the pan because it is still super hot. So to start our sauce, I have two oranges, fresh oranges, 
be careful this will probably sizzle careful try not to get any seeds in there if not just get them out with a spoon second orange hmm. Got a seed in there it's okay I can get it out Okay, I have the flame back on. I have it on low flame. So I've added the orange juice. Next, we're gonna add about a tablespoon or so of chopped garlic in here. About a tablespoon of rosemary. A 15 ounce can of chicken broth. Okay, I've turned the heat back up to medium high heat. That last ingredient we're gonna um, add in for the sauce is about a couple, a couple teaspoons of uh, balsamic vinegar. Then we're going to add the chicken that we stirred off back in here. Okay, so I've added all the chicken back in and it has come up to a simmer again. We're just going to let the chicken simmer in the sauce until it has reduced, has thickened up into a glaze and until the chicken is cooked. The chicken is cooked to at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Alright, so about five minutes has passed. Chicken is still cooking. Uh, the sauce is beginning to reduce some, still simmering away, and it's just beginning to get this nice golden color, and the sauce will reduce down to a glaze and thicken up. Okay, it's almost been another five minutes, so ten minutes total so far. The sauce is still reducing. It's beginning to thicken up just a little. And become a glaze so I'm going to lower the heat just a little to about medium to almost low and let it go okay so about another minute or two has passed now let's check the chicken okay now we're gonna plate it up so first down I have some Yukon gold mashed potato nice variety of vegetables and the star of the dish, the orange rosemary chicken. I have some of the leftover glaze. I'm just gonna take a spoon and just spoon all over the chicken. Oh, look at that. The only word I can think to describe this dish is wow. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video of me making orange rosemary chicken. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, a like, 
Also, hit the subscribe button so I can keep making these videos for you. If you have any culinary questions for me, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, if you would like a list of the ingredients that I used in today's video, check out the description below. I will make sure I have a list of all the ingredients down there. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.